Now, from a size point of view, this is looking really interesting. However, there are some concerns that I have on this product for FPV. That latency isn't going to be right, in my opinion. But my concerns with this product for FPV is this. This is made from aluminium. This casing is aluminium. If we look at some of the images of the back of it, if I just find it, if we go on this, my concern with this is this glass is end-to-end, -end, and this is an aluminium frame. And literally any crash, this glass is going to go ping end game you're possibly going to bend in the sides i don't know how rugged this is going to be for fpv compared to say a plastic gopro it's going to need some protection now we can do that in tpu it's not a massive thing but it is it's something we're going to need to understand how it stands out dji will do k refresh if it's anything like their current k you can have two replacements in a year price wise it's very favorable but the GoPro one is better because it's to a year ongoing, whereas DJI isn't. But that's on the current one. That is my main concern is how well. Now, uh, as um, as Lon says, you're going to have to mount, uh, have a mount that will protect it 100%. And I think you're going to see some people come up with some really interesting mounts. Um, half a pound of glue won't fix. It's going to be interesting to see how fixable this is. Can we make a plastic housing? Um, that's the question. But it does look very interesting. There is a hell of a lot to like you for FPV, especially just on the size.